Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Just because I'm feeling sick doesn't mean that we're going to put off our weekly GoToMeeting session. And uh, you can find more information about the GoToMeeting product, which works with either Mac OS X or Windows, at gotomeeting.com slash chrisperillo. It's a chance for us to discover, well, each other's desktops. And right now I'm looking at Matt Smith's desktop, and he's about to demonstrate a free product called... Fluid Tunes, and it's very, very visual. I'd heard about it before. It's something that I, I haven't had a chance to play with. So, Matt, uh, show us a little more about Fluid Tunes and why we'd really want to use this. All right, well, um, I don't know if any of you have seen the Oblong project at uh, MIT, but it's the, the whole project is based off of spatial interaction with your computer. Okay? And what this application does, called Fluid Tunes, is it takes that concept and it plugs it into your iTunes library. So I'm able to visually browse my iTunes library. If you can see the webcam overlay beneath the video here, you're going to see my hand up there in the top. All right, and I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to tap the right button. I am not touching my keyboard or mouse. This is totally hands. So Again, we're, we're looking at Matt's desktop right now. He's got Fluid Tunes pulled up, and in this uh, cover art style browsing interface, uh, you can see him underneath his uh, CD, or I'm sorry, his music library. I guess they're not really CDs anymore. Uh, they look like CD covers, um, but he's there. He's underneath uh, the art, and he's moving his arms or his hands back and forth, either hovering over uh, the right button or the left button. He can choose to play or stop. Uh, the, the songs that are playing. See, you can see Matt right there. That's Matt. That's a live webcam shot using Fluid Tunes to browse the library. As he says, uh, it's a, really a, um, an experiment in spatial interactivity uh, with what's happening outside the computer and what's happening on the computer. Is it easy to use, Matt? It is, actually. And there's two ways that you can browse it. You can do take your hand and you can go to right or left, but what's also really cool is you can do head gestures. So I'm going to go and I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to swipe my head, and it moves. So he just swiped his head just in front of the webcam, and everything moved. And then, of course, he could have fun. Now, is is it something that's really practical? Or is it just one of those things you like showing people because they want to do it themselves? Um, it can be practical and something to show people. Uh, one application that I can really see this put to a good use in would be possibly some type of home theater PC, uh. where you know you're having a bunch of people over, having a party, got some music going, saying, you know, hey guys, you want to try this out? That makes sense. And everybody's like. Wow, that is really cool. Well, not just that, but you don't want to scramble for the remote control when all you want to do is just flip, flip, flip. And if you've got the, the camera, well, I guess that, that does make a lot of sense then in, in a party construct. I mean, because if you're sitting at your computer, exactly. of course, you could use your mouse or your keyboard. But you're not using your mouse or keyboard. You're just simply swiping left or right, and uh, things are happening with fluid tunes. Oh, well, Matt, thank you for uh, the demonstration. I'd heard about it before, never actually saw it, and I do appreciate you showing us. We used, again, GoToMeeting, which is a product that allows you to broadcast your desktop. And you heard Matt and I talking. It's got its own little VoIP client uh, that's uh, bundled with it. Works very well cross-platform. And you could potentially use this in other scenarios, like, well, they call it GoToMeeting. So instead of traveling uh, across town or halfway across the world to demonstrate something on your desktop, you could use GoToMeeting. Save time, money, energy, and you get to look at cool stuff too, at least the way that we look at it. Again, go to meeting.com slash Chris Perillo. Now, if you have any other ideas uh, for meetings that uh, you would like to share with us when we do uh, go to meetings in the future, feel free to drop me a line. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Of course, if you want to make other product recommendations, you're more than welcome to in our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. And then, of course, we've got a chat room also full of geeks. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day. So seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.